Hey, what's up you guys? This is Roz Bizzle and welcome to Roz's Cave, where all I do is play games, make commentary, and once in a while attempt to voice act from time to time. So yeah, here we are with Dark Side Detective. I kept calling it Darkest Detective, but it's actually Dark Side. Well, to me they sound the same. Anyways, let's get on with the show. Hey chummers, this is Roz Vizsla, and welcome to Roz's Cave. I actually did... I actually did this already, but I didn't record it, so I have to redo it again. So, sadly to say, that's just the case right now. Let me see if I can start the investigation again. So, Malice in Wonderland. So, yeah, all thy wonderful voiceover is just... It's just a want to waste, so I'm gonna go ahead and try my best to replicate it. So this guy is named Officer Dooley. Whoa! I almost shot you there, detective. You shouldn't be sneaking around like that. Dooley, you watched me drive up. I had my siren on. You waved at me as I pulled in. I guess this place has me spooked out a little. So what happened here? Chief Scully just called me up and told me to get here ASAP. No details. Um, Seven-year-old kid, Laos. Went missing a day ago. No sign of her leaving the house. Seems to be the kind of spooky crap, I mean. The kind of case you're into, detective. Great. Let's get started. After you, detective, you know whenever standing in this rain stops being fun for you. Our trusty squad car. I like to call it the Popo Moto. Hmm, let me try to figure out a voice for Officer Dooley, why is there a hobo dripping all over my carpet? Uh, that's um, Detective Francis McQueen. Mr. Jones, he's here to investigate. I see. Twin Lakes' finest day. Nice schumer. Ha, ah, you dummy. It's not a schooner. It's a sailboat. A schooner is a sailboat, Dooley. Hope you don't smoke around your kid. Thankfully, I am rarely around my kid. So how can I help you, detective? Tell me about Alice. I'll level with you, detective. I don't have many dealings with her. She has a limited conversation pool. She's seven. Exactly. Tedious age. So I leave that to the nanny. She's around here somewhere. Where were you last night? Why didn't you know that she was missing? I was... out. How wonderfully shady. Have you got an alibi? Where... Where I was is none of your business, detective. My taxes pay your salary. They also pay for the cell and questioning room I'm going to have Dooley here take you to. Fine. Call this number. They'll vouch for me. Busty Bell's Booty Boutique. Classy stuff. Ah, Bell. Fond memories. Hmm? I mean, where was he? A bell shop? What? I think I'm really <laughs> messing with the accents here. Ah, oh, shoot. Oh, well, we'll just go with it, okay? Place this fancy deserves something nicer than plastic flowers. What an odd place for a telephone. What's a run of place to draw? I mean, put it. Okay. I better check Roy's alibi. Hello? Is this Bell's? 
Busty Bell's Booty Boutique, Busty Bell's Bosom Bordello, Busty Bell's Bonda. Yes, would have been enough. That's the real woman. No question left unanswered, no desire unfilled, no fantasy unexplored, no. I get the picture. Are you sure? I could send you one if you'd like. Was a Mr. Roy Jones in your establishment last night? I couldn't say. Client confid confidentiality then identities are concealed. Sometimes in mass. This is a police matter. I'm Detective Francis McQueen. Francis McQueen? Of the Dark Side Division? Yeah. Tell Dooley I say hello. I'm glad this screen resolution doesn't let you make out that. I'm blushing. Have to help a friend of Dooley's. Yep, Roy Boy was in here last night. Roy Boy? Some questions. Even a ma badge won't get you hats. That's all I need for now. If you find yourself needing anything else, just pop on by. Okay, that's my best, you know, escort voice I can probably put out there. Okay. Okay, let's leave it at that. <laughs> so. Tell me where she is, bear! I'm only kidding. You don't know. Well, I'm only kidding. You don't know. You're only a bear. A stupid no nothing bear. A drawing of our suspect. Really? I'll put it out. I'll put it out an APB. No, Dooley. Don't do that. Tree. Yeah, I know that tree. It owes me five bucks. I've never seen a horse with five legs before. Yeah, Dooley's not really exactly the sharpest, sh sharpest tool in the shed, so... Yeah. This is no time for art, detective! Blacklight? This looks useful. I don't have much use for a dozen pink socks. Let's go ahead and talk to Miss Jones. Or Dooley first. This is a lot of pink. I think I'd have a runoff, too. Um, let me try to get my voice. Um, hello? Can I ask? My baby, my baby is gone! Um, can you tell me about Alice? She just disappeared! My, my baby! Um, is there any- You have to find her! Find her! All she needs is just some sort of person to start hitting him and be like, God damn it, I have to deal with this every time. Hard to believe this is the same woman we spoke to. The stress of all this has to hit her hard. Alice and her mom looks quite happy here. She seems like a sweet kid. Don't worry, we'll find her, detective. A waterbed? Very fancy. Looks like something has been kicked under here. No, it doesn't. It's a peculiar pattern from the cult for dummies book. Tell me about Alice. She's a spoiled and Sticks her nose where it doesn't belong. But that's what ha having a super rich parents would do to you, if I guess. What's a nanny doing in the master wait? <clears throat> What's a nanny doing in the ba master bedroom? Nothing suspicious, that's for sure. No, sir. How long you been working for the Jones? Joneses, detective. Even though it ends with an S, you still will pluralize it. It's now the time. It's now really the best time, Dooley. It's always a good time for grammar. Anyways, answer the question. Long enough to harbor no ill will whatsoever. We're done here for now. 
I'll get back to work. And nothing else. Man. Okay. So far, obviously, the, the nanny's really suspicious, obviously. Painter. The painter fell when the shelf gave away. Not much left in it now. Just a bunch of forgotten memories. Those look heavy enough to knock someone out cold. Hmm. May not be broken after all, just a blown bulb. Box marked Anne's broken dreams. Broken shelf. Looks like this gave away recently, spilling paint dinner all over the floor. Okay, guess not much here. So, how can I help you, detective? I've taken enough of your time. And I have nothing further to say, detective. Kindly leave me be. I think I like change this voice. This reminds me of my own. Wait. This reminds me of my. I'm trying to get that deep voice back. Um. <clears throat> this reminds me of my own grandfather. This reminds me of my own grandfather. Your grandfather was a clock? What? No. He had. A, he had a clock. Shame. I thought I finally found out something interesting about you. What? I am interesting. Whatever you say, detective. One of those crystals is worth more than we get paid in a year. We could take one. You, uh, you passed the corruption test. Well done, detective. Did you follow me into this closet? You may have needed backup. Hmm. A black wait. Hmm. <clears throat> a black light bulb. May as well take it. Now all we need is a disc of all some white clothes and fat beats. Then we've got ourselves a good night. <clears throat> a good night is finding this kid. Locked. I wonder where I'd find a key. Let's see. Say, you're the nanny. The very innocent nanny, yes. Do you have the keys for the various rooms? I am a nanny, not the maid. Right. But do you? Yes. May I have the key to the study then? Sure. There's nothing incriminating in there anyways. And that would be the... Again, I have technically played it, but... For footage's sake, I... I need to do this. I need to go ahead and replay this. I wonder if... Yes, yes, we know. And hey, presto, we're in. <clears throat> Roy Johns Esquire. Takes a certain type of person to have an oil painting of themselves. An old oil lantern. Seems to have some oil left, too. The statue is ugly enough to be worth a lot of cash. <clears throat> nice collection of books. Does suggest they've not been looked at in some time. For shame. His magazine collection. Jeez, this guy's obsessed with jugs. Man, I just thought of something else, but yeah, definitely he's obsessed with jugs. Dang. Didn't know there's a ma I mean, there's a magazine for everything, right? As they say. 
You can never trust a man who owns too many books. That's what I say. How many books are too many? Um, six? And how many books do you own? I don't feel comfortable with this line of questioning. I just find it ironic that I give the police guy like a very high pitched voice and he's like muscly. And I gave a deep voice to this guy right here. <laughs> I mean, I could just imagine having a dark, like a deep, smoldering voice, and then this dude, this buff, just has the most high-pitched voice. So, sorry if my uh, voice acting abilities is like very lackluster in a sense. Okay, what else was I supposed to do? Yeah, I think I was supposed to go up here. Should probably light this thing, you know, just in case. <laughs> Let's see. Hope this doesn't reveal somebody's attic. Shame. Ooh! What the hell? Well, that doesn't look uh... Well, that doesn't look ominous at all. Okay, let's see. Okay, I seem to have everything I need. Let's get down to some spooky hijinks and redraw those missing symbols. Let's see. Okay, let me try to mimic it. I, I got it. This one and the square over here. Yep, that should be it. Great. Maybe now's a good time to stop doing, well, anything really. Even I'm not foolish enough to go in there with no light. Well, luckily you have a light, man. Okay, Dooley. Let's do this. No offense, detective, but I'm going nowhere near that creep fest. I'll, uh, stand guard out here. A box marked baby's first cult robes. That's very specific. The label says old milk circa 1880. Why would you store that? All the junk. Don't walk in there, mister. That's where the three-eyed rats hide. So... This looks like the other attic. Right down to the broken shelf. Except that's all blue and cold here. Hey, mister. Hey, kiddo. Are you here to take me home? Yep. Good. I'm hungry and the sounds from the downstairs are scaring me. Yeah, let's get out of here. Crash! Bang! Not so fast, detective. Where's Dooley? Wait. Where's Dooley? That idiot. I knocked him out. I can't have you snooping around anymore, so I'm going to trap you here. At least take the girl. Hoi, Dento. I'm here legal guardian after all. It's my job to look after her. Especially if anything should happen to her parents. Say, for example, they're getting trapped in the dark side's version of their bedroom. Is where they'd be now if Alice hadn't got it into my stuff and stupidly trapped herself up here. I figured it'd be the best to lay low until you had come. I thought you'd have given up by now. I don't even know what kind of accent that I'm giving this m nanny made. It's like a mix between some sort of Southeast Asian accent to maybe Hispanic sounding to or Russian or something like that. And I'm like, okay, it's like melding together. So I made it. I made my own accent, so I don't even know anymore. What kind of cop would I would give up on a mi missing kid? Most of the TLPD. Sadly fair. So that's what this is. An inheritance scheme. You have to admit it's a fairly perfect crime. It... It is, actually. 
Even if you do get rid of me, then what? Alice knows what you're up to. She's a smart kid. If she's so smart, she'll know to keep her mouth shut. Once Dooley is awake, you and your scheme will be done for. Hmm, good point. I just have to get you to drag him into here with you. Come on. Okay, drag your friend in here. And no funny business. I'm scared, mister. It'll be over okay, kiddo. Can't go back, Drew. Have to think something else fast. I knew this paint bucket were heavy enough to knock someone out. Ow! <laughs> oh yeah. A paint thinner. It says paint... Not evil nannies. Have a taste of your own medicine. No. Well, there. <laughs> so the kid got into the nanny stuff and accidentally used it to trap herself in that creepy attic. The dark side, but that's a surprisingly succinct summary of things. Yeah. Shame. The daddy was uncertifiable. She was a looker. Dooley. She was dabbling in the dark arts. With a plan to trap innocent people in a parallel world. Kidnap their kid. And steal all their cash. I said it was a shame. Jeez. I wonder where the nanny got that occult books from anyway. That stuff is hard to find these days. Case for another day, I guess. First of all, we have to figure out what kind of paperwork covers this mess. Case closed. So yeah, there you go. For Dark Detective on the first one. And I do hope to see you guys again tomorrow, so yeah. That's it for today, you guys, and we are done with case one. So, I hope you enjoy. Like, subscribe, comment, do whatever you need to do. It would be great if I could appear in the algorithm somehow, magically. So yeah, that's all I ask for. And if you do really, really love what I do here, Consider subscribing so you can see the latest stuff that I'm posting. I post from Monday through Thursdays. And if you're feeling... If you really, really love my voice, do go over to Raza Psych and Gaming, where I go over psychology and gaming stuff on Wednesdays and Fridays. So yeah, that's that. And I believe I do have a Twitter on Raz Vizla. I haven't really made much use of it yet, so it's there if you want to follow me there. Yes, stay psyched and stay gaming, you guys.